In today's video, I'm going to show you the best passing play in Madden 23. It's literally the number one passing concept in the entire game. You need to be running some version of this if you're not running this formation. But we're in the Colts playbook today. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, uh, the link's going to be down in the description. We're taking a look at tight slots halfback week. And the play we're going to be taking a look at today is Flood, which, like I said, is the best play in the game. By far, the number one play in the game right now um, is this play Flood because it does such a good job at several different things. It beats man well. It beats zone well. It beats match coverage. It beats max coverage. It doesn't really matter. Um, so the setup for this play and how we're going to utilize this is we are going to streak our left side receiver. And then this right side receiver here, Eric Berry, we are going to put him on a slot apprentice post route. Out. Now, the really important thing when running this play is to understand the progression system, okay? We want to look to the left really quickly. If we see man coverage, this corner route is one of the best man-beating routes in the entire game, okay? We want to utilize that specific route um, against man-to-man -man coverage. So now what they might do is maybe they go to, um, you know, maybe they go to something like this, uh, where they have like a third to kind of help bracket that. And then, of course, the user uh, is going to be in the middle of the field. So if the user is in the middle of the field and they have a third to help bracket it, the streak will still clear out space, and we're still able to throw that route when we run this with our tight set to the short side of the field. This flood concept, it's known as flood. It's been known as flood and man for years. In the air raid system, it's known as the Y sail concept. It's one of the critical critical passing concepts um, that you want to have because what we're going to force them to do is we're going to force them to play essentially double mabel over here on the left side of the screen and then on the right side of the screen they're going to have to roll the coverage into something like this so these are all the zones that they're going to need over on that side of the field um, the problem is if they do run something like this a lot of times this corner route um, i didn't see it right there because i got screened at by a sin three uh, but the corner route can typically get over the top of the cloud flat so i'll try to illustrate that here really quickly so again um this this corner route oftentimes can get over the top of the cloud flat even if the cloud flat is backed off so what you'll see right here is you'll see if i freeform this up i can get that into a kind of a soft spot um, against the coverage so they're really going to need some type of 30 yard cloud or something over the middle um, and then this is where the play really is going to open up and this is also where we can start to kind of go to some variable setups so if you think about it the user is going to basically be in charge of getting back to this post route over the middle of the field so he's going to drop over the middle to the post route quick that's going to leave this open super quick why because that vert hook is going to get pulled oftentimes with that um oftentimes with that specific uh, corner route typically that vert hook um, is going to have to go to the corner route and oftentimes they'll even match him if they have their match coverage set to on so you'll see here there's this little window underneath the zones where i can just check it down to the drag route now the other thing that this does is now the user has to basically play a chess game and essentially the user is going to have to play underneath to be able to defend the, the the drag route and again this is a drop eight coverage in zone and so you see the user comes underneath now we want to hold l1 and we want to high point that post route over the middle of the field now if we can force our opponent to consistently go to a coverage like this what this does is it opens up the middle areas of the field where we can go into some of our other setups, such as this four verticals play, where we're going to post route Harold Carmichael, we're gonna streak Keith Byers, and we're gonna hitch this defender or this uh, right side receiver. As you can see, the middle of the field is wide open and we can take advantage of that every single time. This also is where I like to talk about some of my other variable setups that I like to do out of this if they do go to a coverage like we just talked about. So if they do go to a coverage like we just talked about, what I want to do um, is I want to try to get them to chase that outside right receiver. So the best way to do that is we're going to drag him across the middle of the field, and then we're going to take the tight end, and now we're going to put the tight end on a trail route. So they see the drag, they're going to go to the drag, and then we can high point that trail route into that same basic pocket of the field that was left open when we were running the post route. And so you see how effective this is. Now, if our opponent does want to run, um, you know, some match coverage like this, one of my favorite strategies is oftentimes if you leave this post route, this post route is going to be a potential one play score up over the top of the defender just like that. So there are advantages to leaving that post route, whether it be against man coverage or, zone, or uh, match coverage, 
that post rock can really help you take the top off of the defense. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, including all of the bunch stuff and the tight slot stuff, head down to the description and go join the Patreon for just $10. You're going to get access to all of my ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any of the new stuff that we're going to be dropping in preparation for Man 24. So thanks for watching the video, and head down to the description and go join the Patreon page.